back at it again and oh boy we've got some interesting news today like share comment hit that subscribe button if you are new and let's dive in talking to reporters outside the capitol right now. Gates, if not mccarthy then analyzed the house of representatives today to whose benefit people have called you a narcissist people say that is to your benefit alone is it to the benefit of you and to Donald Trump. It's the benefit of this country that we have a better Speaker of the House than Kevin McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy couldn't keep his word. He made an agreement in January regarding the way Washington would work, and he violated that agreement. We are $33 trillion in debt. We are facing $2.2 trillion annual deficits. We face a de-dollarization globally that will crush Americans, working class Americans. Kevin McCarthy is a feature of the swamp. He has yep. risen to power by collecting special interest money and redistributing. And I, I just want to make a quick comment on that because this video can get pretty long. I'm not going to play this whole clip because it's over seven minutes long, but um, it it it's obvious that Kevin McCarthy was a part of the swamp when you have the swamp creatures coming out to try to defend him. Mitch McConnell, I think even Hillary, said something about it right when, when, when you have all of these figures that we would consider a part of the establishment right that are coming out and defending him it's like oh so we were right you know and, and, and it's crazy because like you 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 would think that they would just sit back and be quiet because it would be way too obvious that he was a part of them if they came out and defended him but i guess they can't help themselves at this point um and it, it is getting it's getting pretty interesting you know, um, watching them make these mistakes and these different moves, it's almost like um, they're, they're, they're like panicking at this point or, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's some wild stuff going on, but let's jump back into the video. Contributing that money in exchange for favors. Uh, we are breaking the fever now and yep. we should elect a speaker who's better. So if not Kevin yes, McCarthy, then who? Then who? You said last night that Steve Scalise was a name that you floated to potentially be speaker. Where do things stand right now? If not McCarthy, then who? Well, uh, you know, the stages of grief, I think, are uh, in progress right now with some of my colleagues. I think there was a stage of denial and I've certainly experienced a good amount of their anger. And now we appear to be headed toward bargaining. I think the world of Steve Scalise, I think he'd make a phenomenal speaker. Oh my God, we've got, we've got less than, we've got less than 45. I'm afraid of $33 trillion in debt crushing the working people in my district. I'm afraid of the dollar losing its status as the global reserve currency. Yep. If they want to expel me, let me know when they have the Has vote. Has anyone talked less than 45 days left before we, Sorry, go we've got less than 45 days left mm -hmm. before you have to pass a budget, which is something that you've been. That's another great point as well them going after Matt Gates to expel him. Why? That's interesting. You know why? Because if you guys remember, I took several polls. Now, granted, I'm just a, I'm just a small guy who makes YouTube videos, you know. In in the grand scheme of things, I'm I'm very very insignificant um in the political sphere. sphere. I'm I'm like I'm like very very minute, right? But I took several polls, and in every single poll, Every single one, including one just two days ago, Kevin McCarthy lost. Every single one. Even the one from two days ago where I asked you guys, do you guys agree with Matt Gates or do you agree with Kevin McCarthy? You guys voted at, at um, I think it was 92 to 7. It was like 92 point something to 7 point something, if I remember the number correctly. or It was something along those lines. It was over 90% to less than 10%. 10%, less than 10%, excuse me. Uh, agreed with Kevin McCarthy and over 90 agreed with Matt Gates. I, I think that's pretty clear on who the people want. But of course, these folks don't work for we the people, which is why we need to pay attention to all of the folks that are mad at Matt Gates and um, trying to defend Kevin McCarthy. We need to pay attention to those folks. The next time it's their election time, Y'all know what to do. Wanting to do, doesn't this just completely paralyze the House? I mean, we could see 15 more rounds. I don't think we will. Uh, I think Kevin McCarthy should take a hint. After 15 ballots to become speaker, after eight months of a failed speakership, and after removal uh, in this historic manner, I think we should move on and find somebody else. What's paralyzed the House of Representatives has been the failure of Speaker McCarthy. What paralyzed the House of Representatives was not taking up appropriations bills. We left for a six-week vacation. 
while the appropriations process hung in the balance. And because I forced these people to take a few votes, you think I'm paralyzing the House of Representatives? I think the House of Representatives is been paralyzed for the last several decades as we've refused to pass a budget and as we've governed by continuing resolution and omnibus bill. So I think that this represents the ripping off of the Band-Aid, and that's what we need to do to get back on track. How do you pass anything if 200 Republicans? How do you pass anything? How do you say to your colleagues who argue you don't have another name right now, you don't have someone else who could get 218 votes. What do you tell those colleagues? Well, I would tell them that for certain, Kevin McCarthy can't get 218 votes, so let's try the next person. So how do you... <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Man, the swamp creatures have come out in full force. But, you know, we have some interesting news here that uh, I think you guys are really going to have a laugh about listen to this news guys this is just absolutely insane um yeah breaking news into cnn sources tell my colleague melanie zanona and me that former house speaker kevin mccarthy is expected to step down from congress before the end of his term politico first first her report let's get back to melanie zanona on capitol hill so melanie we're both hearing that McCarthy plans to stick around um, through the, the vote for the speakership, right? But then his future in the House is uncertain, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. And in talking to sources who are close to Kevin McCarthy, they are expecting him to leave before the end of his term. This is something that he has been toying with. And he even said in a closed-door conference meeting after he was removed as speaker that he wants to go home and spend time with his family. But he does want to stick around at least through the rest of this speakership election. He really wants to make sure that the conference, which has been so chaotic over the last few days especially, is calm and steady before he leaves. Now, he doesn't plan to get involved in the speaker race. We're told he's not expected to endorse any candidate, but he does want to be around to really see this through. And keep in mind, this is a huge seismic shift for the party. Kevin McCarthy came to Congress in 2007. He was a state lawmaker in California before that. He has spent his entire adult career in politics. He came to Congress. He worked his way through the leadership ranks. He's hold, held multiple leadership roles over the years. And he tried to become speaker back in 2015. And at that time, the House Freedom Caucus did denied him the gavel, but he kept fighting. He eventually became the leader of his party. And when they took the majority last year, you remember that January vote, it took him 15 rounds to become speaker and he did finally get there. But Kevin McCarthy says he has no regrets about how he acted during speaker, whether it was the bipartisan debt ceiling deal that we saw earlier this summer or his decision, his consequential decision on Saturday to put a stop gap funding bill on the floor to fund the government, which ultimately led to his ouster earlier this week. But again, just so much uncertainty in the Republican Party because we still don't know who is going to replace Kevin McCarthy. At the moment, we have an acting speaker, an interim speaker, that's Patrick McHenry of North Carolina. But two men are vying to replace Kevin McCarthy. That is Jim Jordan, the House Judiciary Chair, and Steve Scalise, the number two Republican, who has also been in leadership right behind Kevin McCarthy for, for many, many years. So we're going to have to see how this all plays out next week. But as of right now, it looks like Kevin McCarthy might not be sticking around in Congress, though he could still be involved politically as someone who is a you know, strong fundraiser and someone who's very plugged in to Republican politics. Notice what she said there at the end. Still plugged in as a strong fundraiser you guys remember when uh matt gates stood in front of everyone and um said this the gentleman from florida my colleague says we've passed the strongest border bills in history well guess what look at the border right now we didn't use sufficient leverage in the debt limit or in any other thing to actually get results on the border the border is a disaster really something i don't think you're going to be campaigning on that you fix the border second you said you streamlined regulations what the gentleman from louisiana doesn't tell you is that all of the regulatory reform he was just bragging about is waivable by the stroke of a pen of someone in the biden white house do you really think you've got anything for that? It's a total joke. And then finally, the welfare to work that the gentleman from Louisiana said we got. The welfare programs that they said that they streamlined with their welfare to work stuff, they're actually going to grow because while they did work requirements, they blew out. These guys right here behind them look so angry, <laughs> especially him. Who, who are these folks? Y'all let me know in the comment section. I have no clue who these two gentlemen are. 
but they look angry, especially him. My goodness. Sheesh. Those programs with expanded eligibility. I'm real glad you guys didn't put work requirements on Medicaid. It probably would have resulted in Medicaid expansion. And when it comes to how those raise money, right here, listen. I take no lecture on asking patriotic Americans to weigh in and contribute to this fight from those who would grovel and bend knee for the lobbyists and special interests who own our leadership, who have Oh, boo all you want, who have hollowed out this town and have borrowed against the future of our future generations. I'll be happy to fund my political operation through the work of hardworking Americans, 10 and 20 and $30 at a time, and you all keep showing up at the lobbyist fundraisers and see how that goes for you. I reserve. Notice that they all booed when he called them out on the lobbyists. Now, back to Kevin McCarthy. <laughs> Woo, my guy is leaving town. <laughs> now, the claim is that, you know, he's going to spend time with his family. And, hey, listen, we all love spending time with our fam, you know. So, I can't be mad at that. But that's the reason? Really? Really? Interesting. Okay. Interesting. That That's, 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 that's what he's going with, huh? <laughs> now, allegedly, like, he came out and denied that claim. But, mm. I don't think they would have dropped that without hearing some kind of hint, you know, from somewhere. I think it I think it just looked really bad and sounded really terrible. So you tried to come out and deny it. That's that's my assumption. I don't know with 100 percent certainty, but I think that is absolutely hilarious. Matt Gates made Kevin McCarthy potentially retire. <laughs> Matt Gates draining the swamp, baby. Draining the swamp. Now it's not all sunshine and rainbows, though. And I showed you guys that clip there with Matt Gates for a specific reason. And that reason is um, Kevin McCarthy. He was in that position for a reason. Check this out. Now, take a look at this. Notice who's at the top of this list. Total raised. Oh, crap. See what I mean? See what I mean? Notice who's also close to the top of this list. Oh, crap. Hold on. Let me go back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Notice somebody else? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, look at here. Look who else is up here on the list. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't know how this guy is up here. Goodness gracious. Uh, District 2 in Texas? Y'all got y'all got to get this guy out of here, cuz. Sheesh. Dan Crenshaw is dead definitely a swamp creature in my humble opinion um now these two were surprising or at least this one uh i guess no maybe not so much because she she is pretty popular she's always you know in the news you know even on leftist news uh you know they're always trying to you know say something bad about her and then you know the darling of the democrat party aoc it's not too surprising that she's on there either because she is pretty you know famous at least um so i could see that one i could see that one i have no clue who marcus flowers is um yeah i think that's the only one i'm not aware of who they are but it's just interesting you know uh once again kevin mccarthy he's able to raise money and i and that's one and i talked about this before throughout this journey that's one thing that i've learned the people at the top are the ones who can generate the most mitch M mitch mcconnell kevin mccarthy Nancy Pelosi, you know, those type of folks typically generate the most money, money, money makes the world go round, right? As much as people like to say, you know, uh, money isn't everything at the end of the day, it kind of is money makes the world go round. When you got a couple of dollars in your pocket, people will do something strange for a little piece of change. And, uh, as you can see, Kevin McCarthy. Got these folks doing a little something strange for a little piece of change. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, so, yeah, uh, some, somebody's going to have to take his place in terms of, uh, you know, garnering or gaining money. Because, obviously, races are won on money. Even though Matt Gates uh, introduced a bill that uh, would ban lobbyists, you know, from buying up. Uh, 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 congressmen and, and women. So I, I, I love, I love that, right? 
They should be working for the people. And that is it. Also in the bill that he proposed, it would ban uh, insider trading as well, which I am all for. Right. There was there was a couple other things in that as well that, you know, I'm, I'm like, oh, yeah, I can get on board with this stuff. I can get on board with this. I think it was term limits as well. Uh, 12 year term limit. Um, you can only spend 12 years there and you got to go. You out of there. So, uh, yeah, let me know how y'all feeling about this. Uh, do you think Kevin McCarthy is legitimately retiring? <laughs> like, my goodness, man, are you that hurt? <laughs> I can't be the leader anymore, so I'm going home. <laughs> oh my goodness! Hey, ladies and fellas, y'all, y'all ever been at the basketball court, right? Everybody's playing, and then the person whose basketball it is, his team loses, and he gets mad and takes his basketball and leaves. <laughs> That's Kevin McCarthy. <laughs> His team got kicked off the court. Now he's on the sideline, angry. So he's like, hey, that's my basketball. Give me my ball. He's taking his ball and he's leaving. So now everybody can't play anymore because he got mad and took his ball and left. <laughs> that's Kevin McCarthy, man. <laughs> my goodness. But like I said, y'all let me know your thoughts, your opinions on this in the comment section below. Uh, who do you think should be the next speaker of the house? In my humble opinion, I mean, if I have to settle with Jim Jordan, I guess. Right, I don't want Steve Scalise at all, and maybe I'll make a video on as to why that is. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely in preference, you know, Jim Jordan over Steve Scalise. But my number one choice, obviously, I'm sure you guys know already, is Trump. Could you imagine Trump being Speaker of the House? Mm, 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 mm. What a beautiful thing, right there, huh? <laughs> Peace and love, y'all. I'm out.